If you look down here, here's what you got. Aki and Selfish and Festival. We're back in Chief's Kitchen. Today we're cooking ultimate Jamaican breakfast dish. So we're cooking ackee and saltfish and fried dumpling. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna boil the uh, saltfish. Takes a while to boil out, so you need at least about 25 to 30 minutes boiling hot water. So let's get it started. That's it. You wanna make sure you rinse off the excessive salt off the salt fish first because you don't want it to be too salty in your meal and that's it for now all right so as you can see we already added the uh, bacon powder and the brown sugar now this is the condensed milk mixed in water. Just use this instead of using water. This way it's you know way more sweeter. And this will be festival. So we switching it up, we're making a little twist. We're not gonna do fried dumpling. We're gonna do festival the ackee and saltfish. We're gonna do it that way. So we're about to boil the aki right now. Give it roughly about 10-15 minutes. As much as they say ready to go. I still want to boil it more because it's still hard from in the can. So that's it. Just let it boil for 10-15 minutes and continue on. So what I like to do basically, I like to change the water twice with the salt fish. Just to make sure that it's not as salty for the uh, the last part of the cooking. It's nice to rinse it off, add a bit more water. Just put it back on for another 10 minutes and it'll be good. Basically prepping the dumpling now before we put it in the oil. So now we're just gonna fry them and that's it. Just make sure you watch, check to see uh, each side, make sure that they don't burn. Keep your stove halfway. Make sure that if the pan, if, if your frying pan is very thick, then that's perfect. If it's very thin, then you gotta keep the stove even down more. And just give eye, keep an eye on it very often because this tends to uh, burn very fast. So step two, do that like I said before, keep an eye on them, make sure that it doesn't burn. The stove is a bit high, so I'm just gonna tweak it on a bit. All right, so this is uh, step two for your salt fish. Just basically pull them apart into a nice little biteable size. This one is a uh, boneless, 
so that's perfect no need to uh, search for the bones in this one or worry all right so another step here is just to prep the veggies that we need for the uh, final part of the cooking here some sweet pepper you want to get your uh, either your scotch brownie pepper or habanero I get some scallion and you get some uh, thyme over here and onion those are the main seasons that you need roughly for this one So right now we're at the last stage, and that's the ackee and saltfish. And we'll show you how guys how we're gonna show you guys how that part is made. So basically, we're just straining off the uh, water off the ackee right now. Already done boil. It's been sitting there for a while. This way, it doesn't get too soft until everything else is ready. Let this saute down for about three minutes before you add the saltfish to it and then I can't fall in that after. Now, just add the saltfish to it. Just let it all saute down together. Need some black pepper here. We don't need much seasoning for this one at all. Some garlic powder, not too much. Slight touch of salt. All right, now the final step is to add your aki to everything else. And stir it up there. Get it all mixed in. Not too much though, because you really don't want to mush the aki too much. Just one time and then just leave it as is. Add a bit more black pepper to it. You guys have a festival aki and selfish. We're gonna try the food after it's done. It's probably done another 10 minutes. I'm hungry right now, just can't wait. So I'll be back and let you guys know the finishing touch of how everything tastes. It smells good, so I know it's gonna taste good. Alrighty, so end is here. It's time to eat. If you look down here, what do you got? Aki and saltfish festival with a side of uh, <clears throat> pear to kick it off with. This is it. Plenty more to come. Just stay tuned and hit subscribe, like we said always. It's time to munch down. We are here. There's Princess in the background. Chef. And now we're gonna try the food and let you guys know the honest opinion and how it is. That's true. So 
show you guys. It's gonna be my first time ever trying this. So, it's good, it's spicy. I never had this combination before, even when I was in Jamaica. Usually have it with fried dumpling, but with the festival, it's a different twist. That's good. And we out.